We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found links between red tides and dead zones off the west coast of Florida. Creeping coils of rust seep across the sea, bands of coloured crud buoyed by build-ups of our chemical excess. Irritation, choking, prying, aggregation, soaking, dying, drowning in the flow that bleeds beyond the edges of our broken shore. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Harmful Algae, which has found that red tides might be leading to large areas of the ocean becoming depleted of oxygen. Almost all bodies of water have some algae, but in a red tide the water changes colour because the population of algae living in the water becomes so dense. Red tides have been around since long before humans, however, certain human activities are making them more frequent. Chemicals from farming, factories, sewage treatment plants and other sources can become dissolved in water on the land, flowing into the ocean, where it can cause the algae to grow faster, leading to red tides. These red tides are becoming a near annual occurrence off the west coast of Florida where they are caused by massive blooms of the algae Carangia brevis, fueled in part by excess nutrients in the ocean. The toxins produced by these red tides are harmful to marine mammals, sharks, seabirds and humans. It is thought that these red tides might even lead to hypoxic events in which vast stretches of open water become depleted of oxygen. Unable to sustain life, these areas, called dead zones, may cause die-offs of fish, shellfish, corals and aquatic plants. In this new study, researchers examined nearly 20 years of oceanographic data that included temperature, salinity and dissolved oxygen from the surface to the sea floor across the West Florida shelf. They then used these measurements to determine the frequency of hypoxia and its association with known red tides. The researchers found that hypoxia was present in five of the 16 years examined, three of which occurred concurrently with extreme red tides in 2005, 2014 and 2018. This study found that when red tides began in early summer and continued into the fall, dead zones were more likely to also occur. Whilst more research is now needed to confirm this causal link between an upsurge in algae and dead zones, there is now sufficient evidence to confirm that red tides need to be carefully monitored and fully accounted for in future fisheries management. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Creeping coils of rust seep across the sea, bands of coloured crud buoyed by build-ups of our chemical excess. Irritation, choking, prying, aggregation, soaking, dying, drowning in the flow that bleeds beyond the edges of our broken shore. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Fabliao of Florida by Wallace Stevens. Wallace Stevens was one of America's most respected 20th century poets. Born in Reading, Pennsylvania in 1879, he attended Harvard University as an undergraduate from 1897 to 1900, graduating with a degree from New York Law School in 1903, and practicing law in New York City until 1916. His poetry collections include Harmonium, published in 1923, The Man with the Blue Guitar, published in 1937, and The Auroras of Autumn, published in 1950. His various awards include the Bollingen Prize for Poetry, the Frost Medal, and the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry. Wallace died in 1955 in Hartford, Connecticut, at the age of 75. Fabliao of Florida, by Wallace Stevens. 
bark of phosphor on the palmy beach. Move outward into heaven, into the alablasters and night blues. Foam and cloud are one. Sultry moon monsters are dissolving. Fill your black hull with white moonlight. There will never be an end to this droning of the surf. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.